Hi there, it's Julie Davison from juliedavison.com. Today I've got some cards to share with you using the new Barn Door Bundle from the 2018 Stampin' Up! Occasions catalog. I designed these three cards for my January 2018 Stamp of the Month Club, and so everyone who participates in the club gets the stamp set, as well as a card kit to make two each of all three of these cards. Let me show you a little uh, tips for making the cards, but first I'm gonna show you the bundle itself. So this is the Barn Door Stamp set and it has the door image, a couple wreaths, the hello sign, a few greetings, and then what I'm taking as a handle for the door. And then you can get it by itself or with the sliding door framelit set. So the um, this is the track to make the traditional sliding barn door and then this piece is for the top and then we've got three pieces here that are the hardware pieces and those are actually just decorative they have nothing to do with um, how the card moves so I'll show you that when we get a little bit closer and then we've got some framelits that coordinate um, with the stamped images so we've got one for the wreath and then this one um, does the bow so you can stamp the wreath in green and then the bow in red and then you can glue one on top of the other other as I did on this card and then we've got the same thing for the other wreath so one to cut out the whole wreath and then we've got one that cuts out all three flowers and then we have three individual dies that cut out each individual flower the last die in this set is a square little flower wreath and I'll show you where I've used it on one of the cards for the kit okay let me set these aside and I'll show you the cards when you participate in my Stamp of the Month Club kit, you get pre-packaged card kits that have all the pieces that you need for each card. So everything is pre-cut when possible, and you get your ribbon and all the pieces that you need to make two of each card. So here's the kit for um, this card, and I tried when I made these cards to design them so that each card is opening in a different way. So for this card, we have the door opening like a traditional door. So I took the stamped image, and then I used my paper trimmer, or you could use a bone folder, and I just lined it up in the scoring track and scored along that that panel and then you're just going to use some tear and tape or other um, strong adhesive like fast feeds to glue just that flap to the white cardstock and then it opens up like that for the greeting so this says may your troubles be less and your blessings be more and nothing but happiness come through the door so a really easy way to use the barn door framelit without using the slider let me show you the next card Here's the next card. It is a gatefold card with double doors and it has ribbon that keeps it closed. And when you open it up, you get the message inside. I'm so happy to know you. And here's where I use that square wreath. You can see the die cut is included in the kit and I just cut it in half diagonally so that it would decorate the corners of the inside of the card. Let me share with you some of the measurements and how I put the card together. The long piece is nine inches by three and three eighths inches, and I scored at two and a quarter and six and three quarters to get that gatefold. The doors then are gonna be stamped and die cut, and those will attach to the front. On the inside, there's a white piece, and the inside white piece is three and an eighth by four and a quarter and that's gonna fit right inside for the greeting. And then I tied the ribbon around the blue piece, the pool party, and after I put the ribbon on, I put it on another whisper white layer. So the larger whisper white layer is three and five eighths inch by four and seven eighths inch. Um, I think that is it for this card, although really quickly, to do the hello sign, I stamped the hello banner in wild wasabi and then again in basic black, and then I just cut out the hello from the basic black and glued it onto the green sign so that you could see the word hello a little bit more. The last thing I did was to stamp that wreath and cut out the three flowers in Calypso Coral just to kind of decorate the front a little bit and add some more color. So there is the double door gatefold card. Let me show you the next card. 
The final card is the traditional slider barn door card, and I copied this right from the Occasions catalog, so it might look a little bit familiar. I used the stripes embossing folder for the, um, the card front, and so that is already embossed for you in the card kit. I just want to point out that when you cut the track, you want to make sure to leave a little bit of room at the top. So um, there's more room at the top than at the bottom so that you have room for that black um, die cut track. So you want to make sure and with the with the stripes embossing folder, it makes it really easy because you can see there's a whole um, line, you know, exactly kind of where to line up. The tracks fit right in between the stripes. So that that's an easy way to line that up. Okay, so um, with this, Stampin' Up! has suggested that you use washers. Um, and maybe you can see on this card, this is Karen Thomas made this in a swap that I participated in. And you can see she's got the washers there. Um, and the washers are just little, I hate to pull it apart. I forget what number they are, like number seven or eight or something like that. Um, oh, now I've broken the card. Um, so. I thought instead of using washers that I would use the half inch circle punch and so that's what I used on my card. Um, you can certainly use the washers and there is a little bit more weight to the washers so I feel like it slides a little easier just because there's more weight to move it but it slides just fine with the half inch circle punch which is what I used. So let me show you how I did mine and if you choose you can use the washers instead of the half inch circle punch. So. For each card, you're going to need eight washers or eight half inch circle punches. So let me get a few of them out here. You're gonna need two for each corner and there are four corners to the door. So two on the top on each side, two on the bottom on each side. And then we're gonna use the mini Stampin' Dimensionals. If you don't have these yet, they're really great for small pieces like this. I'm including a half a sheet in the card kit, so if you sign up for Stamp of the Month Club um, and you don't have these yet, you'll, you will get some in your kit. Okay, so we're gonna use the Stampin' Dimensional and I'm just going to prepare these by putting a dimensional on each one. Okay, now I've got the dimensionals on each one. Let me zoom in a little bit here. So now I'm going to put the dimensional in the middle of the track. So here I'm gonna put this one all the way over. And then I'm gonna put another circle on top. And I'm gonna do the same with another one in the track. And peel that off. And then another circle on top. in the track so I'm going to end up with four Stampin' Dimensionals um, on top of the half inch circle sandwiches and then I'm going to evenly space the, the pieces like this. I've got my stamped door and I'm just going to remove the tops of the Stampin' Dimensionals. And make sure I got that the right way and place the door on top. And now the door slides. So you'll finish embellishing the door with the wreath. You'll stamp the greetings on the Whisper White cardstock to go inside and then add the hardware to the door to finish the card. When you're ready to stick the card front onto the card base, I used the same color for this card, just like they did in the catalog. So I've got Pool Party and Pool Party. You wanna use um, some Stampin' Dimensionals. Either double layer them up or use the foam adhesive strips, which are a little bit thicker, um, to give the card a little lift so that you have more room for these to slide back and forth. If you're putting them on the edge where these are you want to make sure that you're placing it where it's not going to interfere with the sliding of the door 
So you, you need to make sure not to put it too close or just stick with the corners where the track isn't. It's a little bit tight. So you're gonna do that all the way around and then you'll use that to adhere to the door like that. And here again is the finished card. All right, those are all my tips for the barn door cards. I hope that you liked my video and that you'll try the barn door bundle. If you'd like to sign up for my Stamp of the Month Club, you can visit my website at juliedavison.com clubs. Thanks so much for watching. Happy stamping.